Hey everyone, this is Tiffany from Integral Movement in Raleigh, North Carolina again. And um, today I've got a uh, session for my early stage prenatal ladies um, who still feel comfortable lying on your back. You can do this next series um, when you are further along in pregnancy if lying on your back for uh, 10 minutes is still something that feels all right. Um, and when I say feels right, a, it doesn't feel like your blood pressure is uh, spiking or crashing. Um, you can breathe with ease um, and things don't feel off. You know when your body is uh, doing all the things it needs to and when it's uh, feeling a little strained. So just listen to the cues of your body. You know best what you feel and follow that. So for today, <clears throat> no props needed. All I need is a space where you can stretch out and have some arm and leg space. And we're going to start lying down flat on your backs. <clears throat> so lying down flat on your back with your knees bent, feet about a uh, hip width distance apart, heels underneath the knees. And we're just going to start with some breathing because um, being able to breathe fully and functionally both during pregnancy is super important, but it's even more important when you get into um, labor and delivery. So practicing our belly breathing is also a really good way to help create and maintain functional tone to your pelvic floor muscles that are going to support your baby as he or she grows um, and help support your pelvis and your low back. Um, so all I want you to do is rest your hands on your low belly. Think resting between your belly button and your pubic bone. <clears throat> you can close your eyes if you're super self-conscious. I actually recommend closing your eyes so you can have a, a greater kind of mind-body connection, which is super important. So as you lie on your back, just take a full lunged breath in so that as you breathe in, you feel all of your belly organs kind of lift and raise up into your hands a little bit. And then as you exhale, don't be afraid of making some sound, exhale actively out through your mouth. As you exhale, the sensations you're looking to feel and don't freak out if you're not fully connected to them right away. It takes some practice to find some of these smaller, deeper muscles. Is you want to feel in kind of like that bottom area. So think about all the orifices that we use to go to the bathroom and whatnot. I want you to feel like on your exhales, they're lifting up and that the front uh, bony components of your pelvis are gently drawing together to create more stability, both for the front of pelvis, the low back, as well as to support the baby. Yep, and it's not like you're gonna hold it. You're gonna, again, then on an inhale, let it relax. It's just as important to have strong pelvic floor and lower abdominal muscles as it is to know how to relax them. So again, just working on our belly breathing. Inhale in through your nose, let your belly expand, let your pelvic floor soften towards your heels. Exhale, draw the pelvic floors up towards your navel as your navel drops down towards your pelvic floor muscles a little bit. So there's this gentle hugging action of the front of the pelvis and the base of the pelvis, which will create more support for the back of the pelvis. Let's just do it. two more breaths. Inhale in. Exhale out. And again, inhale in. And exhale out. So it's something the more you practice, the more you're going to be aware of all those tiny little supportive mus muscles at the base of the pelvis and in the front of the pelvis. As you get bigger with the baby, as the baby grows, there's going to be more and more strain on those muscles. So it's important to start working on them now. And they're not necessarily the ones that make us look the best in our clothes, but they're the ones that keep us best supported, especially as our pelvic shape changes, as we get more hormones that make us less stable. Um, we want to start recruiting those and strengthening those, but still know how to relax them at the same time. So now we're just going to take that same breathing and we're going to add pelvic tilts to it. So just to get you more oriented with where your pelvis is now. And so as you continue to do this, maybe as you go along your pregnancy, you feel the changes and the shifts. Just getting more connected to your pelvis is going to help you in your pregnancy and during your labor especially. 
So here, and as far as how full your lungs are, fill your lungs up as much as you can without causing strain anywhere in your body. Same with the exhales. Get as empty as you can without causing strain. So here, we're gonna inhale, tip the pelvis forward, which means tipping your pubic bone down towards your feel so you feel your low back arch. Exhale, think about trying to pull your pubic bone towards your belly button and your low back flattens. Inhale to arch. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale to arch. Exhale to draw back. Two more, inhale to arch. Exhale to draw back. One more, inhale to arch. Exhale, drop back. And then let your pelvis relax, kind of in between those two spaces, and that's your resting neutral. So there's a lot of debate in, in the movement world about what neutral looks like, and it looks different whether you're standing, lying, on your back, on your belly, on your side. There's some ba basic things to look for. But when you're on your back, doing the arch and the curl and figuring out where that middle space is is a great way to find it. That little sequence alone is a great thing, just the arch and the curl, to help release low back strain or discomfort um, and also try to recreate its counter support network, which is in the front of the pelvis. So now we're gonna take it side to side of the pelvis, so lateral rotations of the pelvis, and we're gonna keep it really gentle here. So keeping your knees pointed towards the ceiling, I want you to push your left heel down. Think about lifting your left knee or pushing your left knee towards the ceiling until your pelvis tips to the right. But you're gonna keep your left knee pointed up, your right knee pointed up. So you're not letting your right knee drop out. Otherwise that takes it into a, a full twist. This is just kind of a pelvic dip. And then we bring it back. Push into your right heel, reach your right knee towards the ceiling. So now the right butt cheek lifts off. Exhale to bring it back. Very specifically, push in, tip over with an inhale. Exhale, lower it down, and back to center. Push into the right, tip to the left. Notice the knees stay pointed towards the ceiling. Exhale, center. We'll do one more set. Push into the left heel, tip to the right. Exhale back to center. And one more time, push into the right to tip to the left. And bring it back to center. And rest. Now you're in charge, obviously, of that range. So it could be way smaller than I just did. Um, I do this a lot, so my range is pretty big. It could literally be up and down up and down. You just want you want to feel, um, your goal is to feel like one butt cheek just gets a little lighter off the ground. It doesn't even need to fully lift and then lower. So we're literally just, think of a rocking boat, rocking the boat side to side, but it's one pelvic half and the other pelvic half. One pelvic half and the other pelvic half. Good, and then we rest. From here, we're gonna go into what I call um, just a, a basic lateral side bend. Um, and I call these snow angels, or single arm snow angels. So we're gonna start, so you can see it with your right arm up, scoot down a little bit, right arm up, left arm goes down next to your pelvis. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and circle my arms out to the side. So when my arm is up, my right palm is up towards the ceiling, my left palm is down. But as I circle and switch, when I'm about shoulder height, my right palm goes down, my left arm goes up, or my left palm goes to the ceiling, and they switch. So this is the basics. And then we yeah, bring it back to the center, switch right palm up, left palm down. Bring it back, and then right palm goes down, left palm comes up. Oh, you can hear my little one is still awake this evening. And back to center. Good, and now we're gonna add a little bit more Yep, breath work to it. So we exhale to come back through center. Inhale to bring one arm down, one arm up. Exhale to bring the arms back to center. And then we inhale to bring them up. Good. Exhale. 
Yep, hands align with shoulders. Inhale, here. Good, now we're gonna switch it a little, for, add a little further. Right palm goes up, yep. Left palm goes down. And I'm gonna reach with my left hand towards my left heel and get a little side bend. So your right ribs are gonna open up. And you're just gonna take a round of breath here. And then we exhale to bring it back through center. So palms come in line the shoulders. Inhale to reach it over side bend to the right. Exhale to bring it back to center. And then we side bend to the left. Exhale, arms go horizontal. Inhale, I side bend. One more time, center, and then side bend left, and back to center. So just waking up the side body muscles, you can do that as much as you want. So the arm piece is a good shoulder opener, and then we just took the shoulder opener and added a lateral spine bends. Lateral spine bend. Yep, so you can make it more fluid. I don't recommend going fast, so always keep it pretty slow is, is better. You're gonna find more space to breathe into. Good, the last thing we're gonna play with in this little sequence are some spine rolls. So, and this is just a great little spine massage, especially as your body with all the hormones is shifting and making little adjustments and things feel less stable. This is just a little way to um, work on opening up your back and still feeling supported and safe. So bring your knees into your chest, hold on to your knees or right below your knees on your shins, okay? Here, let your head and neck just kind of gently roll. So your head is never lifted or really under a lot of tension. With an inhale, let your pelvis roll to the right. And again, go slow. Eventually you land to the side. Notice my head and my neck. I get a little stretch here. We're not here very long. And then we exhale, I'm gonna use the lift of my left leg to help pull me back to center with an exhale. Then with an inhale, I roll over to the left. Let my head hang a little heavy to the left so I get a stretch to the right side of my neck. Exhale, lead with the right knee. Left knee follows, we pause back at center. And then we inhale to roll it over. Yeah. We'll do one more to the other side. Exhale to lift up, leading with the knee, but never going super wide. So we don't wanna to start to put the pelvis under um, unnecessary strain with the instability of the hormones. That's why I got, again, we have the support of the hands to the knees. And then inhale, we roll it over. Now I'm just gonna take this basic spine roll and add a gentle supported twist. Again, you're in charge of the range. So I'm gonna inhale, roll it over to the right. Good, I'm gonna let my knees rest and stack. My right arm can stay where it is. Now my left hand is gonna circle up, up, up. Now it just might feel good to pause here, get a nice little side stretch. Maybe you exhale, bring it back. Notice I'm rotating my arm. Inhale, open up. Maybe I get a little bit more range this time. My head follows my left arm. Exhale, bring it back. So I'm just slowly building the twist. Yep, twists are the most complicated things for the spine, so we don't want to rush them. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, open it. Slowly growing still. Exhale, close it. Inhale, open it. Exhale, close it. And then we're gonna inhale, open it all the way out. If that's accessible to you, if you can't breathe or have a conversation too far. So here the furthest I'm going is left palm in line with left uh, shoulder socket or armpit. Gently look to the left. Don't feel like you have to push your head over and breathe. Then with an exhale, you float it all the way back. 
Take your left hand to your left knee, lift the left knee up with an exhale, follow with the right, pause back at center, and then we inhale, left knee comes over, right knee follows, bringing their pelvic halves. Good, from here, inhaling, reaching the right arm up, palm up, exhale, bringing it back. Inhale, opening, slowly growing. Exhale, closing. Inhale, opening. Exhale, closing. Inhale, opening. Still growing. Exhale, closing. Two more and I'll be at my full range. Inhale, opening, and you can take as long as you want. Yep, and just know that the more you do, the more space you may find. Just working with your breath, giving myself a you know, good time, and we open it all the way up. And breathe. Know that you do not by any means have to come to this full range. You could be stopped here, you could be stopped here. As soon as your ribs start to change their direction from the direction of the pelvis, you're starting your twist. So it's getting the job done. Good to work my way out of this. And once you're in it, give yourself eh, three breaths here at least. More if you would like. I exhale, bring my right arm back. Grab right, my right knee, take a breath. Exhale, the right knee up. Left knee up, bring the pelvic halves with them. Pause back at center. Land my feet down and rest. So always when you finish any kind of movement practice, more importantly than ever when you're pregnant, giving yourself those extra few minutes, just three minutes, 10 breath cycles to just settle and notice the sensations that you feel internally, because it's gonna change every day as your baby grows and changes, as the hormones shift and mix and all that kind of good stuff. So whatever position is most comfortable for you, if you wanna place a pillow or a bolster under your knees, you're welcome to. I'm gonna walk my feet a little wide, let my knees fall in so I've got some front pelvic supports. I like to rest my hand on my belly where I think my baby is, and then just breathe. You can practice again your belly breaths or just find your natural rhythms and notice how your body moves and responds to your natural breath cycle. Also a really good thing to start to pay more attention to. So after you've taken your 10 breaths, your three minutes to come up safely, roll everything over on an inhale to your side Use your top hand to gently push yourself up, and then you're done. So I hope that was helpful and fruitful and felt good for you ladies, and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day. Take care.